In today's challenge, I can only use one unit from each event, and we're gonna try to get past wave 100. Let's go. Oh yeah, but guys, don't forget, in my last video, I promised if I lost a challenge, I'd give you a unit of your choice. So the winner I got highlighted right here, they want a free hyper. So let's go back to Roblox. Congrats, buddy, you won, and here you go. Here's your free unit, so enjoy that. If you guys want to be a winner of a free OP unit of your choice, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment what unit you want and, you know, your Roblox username. Not your display name, but your Roblox username. And with that being said, it's time to get into this challenge. So let's talk about some of the rules and what units we're bringing in. So for the units we're bringing in, we got the chef. He's from Thanksgiving. The Santa, he's from Christmas. The Easter Bunny guy, he's from Easter, obviously. The Corrupted, he's from the Halloween event. And then I got the DJ and Speaker Repair Drone just as utility units, so I actually have to stand a chance here. Now let's hop into the game and we'll talk more about the rules. All right, guys, so this match is officially getting started. Step number one is to go ahead and drop our Santas. And of course, with all these fun little Wave 100 challenges, we give ourselves a little boost of money just so we have a chance. And I can actually get my Santas upgraded like early on and I don't have to worry about them ever again. So boom, there we go. And now we can officially start placing down our main units here. Now, I think I'm going to go with my chef right here, guys. And the reason I'm going to do this and put him right here is mainly so that like I could almost... It's, it's like close, but I can almost like permanently stun the enemies and it's gonna be a strong stun This is a hundred percent slowing. So if you guys didn't know the chef got buffed and he slows a lot And also he does more damage I think now and he can be boosted by my DJ So that's all gonna make him a very very good unit for this challenge No doubt about that and then as you guys can see there you go We pretty much have that permanent stunning now. I will probably get down another one over here just to you know get more stunning going on and stuff like that because keep in mind guys we are gonna have auto skip on the whole entire match as well and once again we're gonna try to beat wave 100 and kill the boss if we do that we officially win if i fail then i owe you guys like i said one of you a unit of your choice i'll choose the winner in my next video so don't forget to like subscribe and then comment your name with whatever unit you want and then we'll pick that winner soon all right Hopefully not, because hopefully I'll win the challenge, but I'm sure some of you guys are doing against me probably want me to lose, but we're going to find that together, so stick around, guys. This is going to be fun, interesting, and this is a challenge I've never done before, so let's get it. I guess that's the best thing we could say here, right? Now, another good unit of, uh, you know, choice here to bring in is definitely going to be this big mech guy, and weirdly enough about him, you can put him right in the lava. I don't know why. Maybe it's because he's a floater, but... Look at him. He's there. And he truly gets the job done because he actually has this rabbit ability where he like helps with the cooldown of my unit. So this, I think, stacks even with the DJ. So yeah, that makes him a really, really effective for my team. So we're definitely going to enjoy his ability there and make uh, good use out of that. But uh, hey, outside of that, I mean, for my main army here, it's probably going to have to be the corrupt cameraman. Now, the only thing I'm a little nervous about that is like you know although it's 65,000 dps the problem big problem by the way sadly enough he is single target only so uh, is it a good idea to upgrade him or is it a good idea to go with this guy might be a good idea to go with the chef but then again like you know 16,000 dps it's not that good it's not that good at all guys i don't know what the right play is here actually this is gonna be kind of sketchy Maybe it would be to go to with, with like some more mech bunny titans, but they're just so big You can't really fit like, you know, too many of the troops you want down So it's tough to say here guys, maybe some more chefs Well, and our, one of the rules I like to always, you know, hold myself to is I must use one of each unit So, you know, either way I will have to use a corrupt I will have to use a mech bunny titan, which we already have him down And I think he's going to be in a really good spot because, you know, if I get him upgraded He's going to be able to cover like all of my teammates Now, you know, my problem here is I officially cannot see his line because he's in the lava. So his beam, as you can see, kind of like clips through the map and it's actually under the map. So if you get a really weird angle here, if I go in this mode, maybe I could see. Oh, uh, let's see here. Can I see the, oh, wait, wait, hold up. I think I just, oh, yep, I see it right here. Yes, see it? It's right here to here. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why he like floats under the map, but Hey, that's the world we live in, and we're going to have to just make the best out of it. You know what I mean? So we'll figure it out, though. I'm not too, too worried about it, guys. We got this under control. I think we do, at least. We'll find out soon. I mean, I hope we do, because if we don't, we're going to lose. We're going to lose quick. But this is a pretty good team here, I think. So 
I really don't think that there's going to be much of uh, any issues going on. But hey, you never, never know. Anything uh, could go wrong, and it will go wrong until it's out of fence. My luck, the game will probably just shut down on me and tell me I lost my internet connection. If that's happened to you, hit that like button so that doesn't ever happen to you again when you're on high waves. Because that happens to me, guys, at least every single day. I'm not even kidding. I hate that. It's ruined so many of my recordings and stuff because, like, I'll be filming, 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 and then you get to, like, a really, really high level or something, and then, boom, out of nowhere, it just completely dies on you the whole game. Yep, see ya. All your progress down the drain, and that's a big rip, but, you know, nothing you could really do about it, I guess, right? Other than just hope that it never happens again, I guess, right? I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyways, I just uh, used the... Oh, I'm going to use the rabbit ability and just kind of see what happens with the pizza, guys. Honestly, I could... Yeah, it definitely speeds it up a little bit. You can kind of tell. See how they're boosted? They have, like, that little aura around them. That kind of just goes to show that, yes, they are, in fact, boosted. But I don't know. Is it good? I mean, definitely. We're going to have to save that for the boss rounds and stuff because, I mean, I think that that's going to be pretty good for us. So we'll uh, definitely make the most out of it and try our best to, you know, really use that to our ranks here but on the other side of things here guys i don't know maybe going with just all chefs might be the play because i'm scared if i just go corrupts then like because i have single target i don't know though they have so much dps it might be better to go corrupts or at least 50 50 split it up tough to say guys let's see how good their range is honestly maybe that'll help determine so oh wow their range is ginormous guys it covers everything okay never mind maybe we'll go corrupts actually because look at their range guys holy smokes i wasn't actually expecting it to be that good their range but yeah it's pretty darn good let's get this uh dj down we'll max him out there real fast and then by doing that we're gonna have the ability to get down a couple more corrupts and then we could probably get down i don't know maybe some more like an RHF TV somewhere just that's kind of the plan here guys kind of mix up the army and then we have these three Santas as well which I will delete those not yet because that would make no sense at all but at some point during the match those will be deleted and then that way I free up some extra room and I'll be able to get down my speaker repair drones that way you know if I'm getting stunned or something like that I could quickly get unstunned and then I'll be safe and not have to really worry about anything so that's definitely going to be smart of us I think so at least and uh should definitely put us in a pretty safe scenario at least i think so and hope so if i die well i guess i jinxed myself but let's hopefully we don't die here we're already a fourth of the way through of you know beating this challenge i'm hoping that we can still do it what do you guys think put your predictions in the comments now what wave do you think i will die on so the max is 100 and if you think i'm not gonna get to 100 say whatever you want but let's see who's uh Putting some faith in me or you guys all ruining you guys probably all want me to die so i do the giveaway right probably that makes sense but i think i'm gonna make it to 100 with this team this is a really good team i mean think of how good the you know the event units truly are the holiday units i guess we should call them that's their official name i suppose but i mean i don't know i think that like the mech bunny the corrupt the chef with 100 percent slowing i mean like how much better do you want me to get i can't get much better than that guys no way no way no way it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen boys so if i can't beat this then i guess it wasn't meant to be it just wasn't meant to be i suppose so let's just keep on trying here and we'll see if we could uh you know pull it off it's gonna be quite cool if we could because i mean luckily though like these units kind of just got that buff if they didn't get that buff like the corrupt and the chef we would have been doomed because they would have really sucked like it's the same issue when it comes to some of the other units like I've been talking about in my past couple videos, like the Spider TV and Engineer. Those guys need some buffs too because they really stink right now. And all it takes is one little change of a couple numbers and boom, boys, we're back. They're back. The old good units in this game, they are back in action and we'll be able to use them like we once did way back when. And uh, it'll be fun again because they'll get to do some like OG challenges because I'll definitely probably do like an OG challenge at some point. But... You know, that's going to be very tough. Maybe I'll have to lower my standards to, like, wave 50 or something. Wave 75, wave 80, maybe. I don't even know. Because, you know, anything else is not really going to be doable. Just with the way the game is set up, unfortunately. Nowadays, like, the enemies have way too much health. And then some of those old units are not AoE. And AoE is king, as I always stated. So, yeah. And actually, you know what? It's weird. I never even thought that at first when we were playing this game because I always liked the UTC. I mean, I know that the UTC was officially like 
kind of AoE, but I mean, for most of his attacks, they were not until you get to like the last, uh, last upgrade there. But I mean, like, I always was like, yeah, I'm avoiding the AoE. It's really not that good compared to the UTC and some of the other units in the game. And then boom, I don't know when it was around like Halloween slash November, the game totally just flip flopped and became like, you know, AoE king type game. And yeah, that, that was pretty much the game changer right there for sure. But still pretty interesting, no doubt. I mean, I, I like it now. I, I think that the game is probably in the best state it's ever been. And outside of them not really updating as frequently, I would just wish that, you know, there was a lot more updates going out. I don't know if, uh, you know, the devs are getting burned out on making this game, which is very understandable. I know me and a couple other YouTubers are very burned out as well playing this game. But that's why I'm just trying to slow my roll, you know, take, you know, videos one at a time here and just I kind of have fun while it still lasts because... You know, it, it, if you like play the games like this, you know, every day for months and months on end, it kind of, it gets boring. I mean, I'm sure you guys know that. I'm sure you guys, anyone here has probably gotten burned out on at least one game. You know, I get burned out on games all the time. I play Call of Duty. I'll play it for like a month straight every day, nonstop. And then boom, a month later, I'm like, yeah, I'm not touching this game for another year. Same thing happens with like other games. I like sport games. You guys like sport games. What's your favorite sport games? Let me know in the comments. Mine? is nhl you come on please tell me there's one other nhl fan in the comments section please guys let me know who is my nhl fans out there and who do you want to win the stanley cup the panthers beat the rangers and knocked them out of the playoffs that is really upsetting to me i was uh i was officially rooting for the rangers to win but they blew it oh no guys i just realized see why is this the thing why is the corrupt not buffed by the dj no that's so not good that stinks guys that stinks because at least, uh, I mean, hey, with this guy, I could kind of do like 20,000 DPS. So let's maybe go for some more Santas here, unfortunately. Uh, the only problem with the Santas is the range is horrible. So got to keep that in mind while I use them. The range is not very ideal. But we're going to want to get some more down because these kind of seem like the better units of the, uh, the bunch here. Because the Corrupts, they are not actually buffed by the dj which makes no sense if you ask me but it is what it is oh anyways i don't know if i ever finished my thought though what team do i want to win the stanley cup now that the rangers are knocked out panthers i think they're the florida panthers right i hope so otherwise i'm a real idiot but i think they're the florida panthers and then the other teams are dallas and uh the team edmonton oilers i think honestly i would like to see mcdavid win uh stanley cup that'd be pretty cool he's a really good player he definitely deserves to have one in his lifetime hopefully hopefully this will be the year and especially because the dallas stars they knocked out my other team that i wanted to win on that side of the uh you know i don't know west coast teams i guess you would put it i wanted the uh vegas team to win so they choked though they blew it all the teams hockey is a very weird sport guys where like anyone could win at any time you just never really know that's why hockey i really really like to watch it because you just never know who's gonna win and when they're gonna win it just anything could happen and basically like it's like one of the only sports where like your stars of your teams and stuff they actually don't affect the match very much at all because the way hockey works is like you're only on the ice for like 30 seconds at a time and then you get off and then your other guys go in so you know if your other guys aren't as good as you then it doesn't really matter because they might blow and they might get scored on you never know right so it's all kind of just hoping that you know when those starters are on the ice for like 30 seconds they can put in some big work and if not not looking good guys not looking good for you but anyways hey things uh that are looking good is this army right here we're on wave 41 already boys let's keep it up we're doing great so far at this rate we'll get to 100 in no time and we'll beat this challenge now listen guys if i get to 100 the uh remember guys if i lose i owe you guys one of you i'm gonna choose you, you know in the comments tomorrow in my next video i'll pick a winner and give you guys a cool unit if i win though let's say you guys have to smash that subscribe button and share the video with a friend and that would be awesome that'd be a w so hopefully i could win i don't know if i'm going to or not but hey we're gonna try i don't know in you know the 90s and 80s are gonna be very tough here because with those bosses the broken heart one that one's pretty tough i'm not gonna lie look at how bad this guy's a splash unit right but man he stinks he's not good guys he's really not but wow those bosses are getting torn apart right now check that out and the problem, though, is, like, look at the pizzas, guys. The pizzas are not really... Oh, no. This is bad. I, I think I do go more corrupts here, guys. The pizza guys are not very strong. 
Maybe I'll have to go all corrupts. Honestly, I mean, you just saw that. You could see how much like AOE damage they're really doing here or splash damage. And it's not a lot. It might be just more effective to try to just quickly kill the enemies by single targeting them down. And plus, we got that 100% slowing. So, you know, I could use this guy in the corner here, put it on last. And that'll just try to, you know, it'll slow down multiple guys at once, which is a good thing. So we'll do that for now. And we'll see if that's going to be the right play for us. It may or may not be, but I think it's going to be smart. As long as we're slowing the enemies down here, really, that's kind of what matters. If we can't do that. Well, guys, we're, you know, we're troubled. We're troubled big time here. We're troubled big time. But I'm hoping that that's not the case. Let's just keep on rolling. Let's keep on doing our thing here. I already used my rabbit ability too, so that's not good. And it's only wave 47, and these guys are getting far already. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, boys, this is bad. What is happening right now? Am I getting... Oh, some of my guys are getting stunned, too. Yo, what is happening? We're throwing. We're so throwing right now. Yo, this is terrible. All right, these guys got to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. But y'all are letting me down here. Y'all are letting me down. How about I get one over here, though? I just... Uh, I'll put one right there. And, and that's just... The reason for that is because maybe it'll help me with, like... I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if that's smart or not, but I'm going to do it either way. I don't care. We're doing it. Full send. All right, there we go. And then our corrupt, we can get that right next to the DJ. See, the DJ would be so effective if I actually got buffed, but he doesn't. And that's that's a killer. That's a vibe killer, too. I really, really thought that the corrupt, although, like, you know, I wasn't sure, but I figured since, yeah, like, yo, he just got buffed. He's, like, stronger now. Like, oh, surely he'd be affected by the DJ, too. But nope, still trash. So sad, guys. Why are all the like most expensive and rare units in this game trash? <laughs> they even try to buff them and they're still trash. That's the sad part. They are still trash. Oh, always sounds like I'm complaining about these units. That's the funny part, too. But I'm just trying to make it better so everyone gets to enjoy their cool units. But some people get mad at me in the comments. I always read them and people are like, stop complaining. All you do is complain. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make the game better. You guys spend a lot of money or at least maybe other people, maybe your friends, maybe your, you know, other people. I don't know that you know or enemies. But we've all spent money on this game, and then the stuff we spent money on, it just sucks. <laughs> There's no point. There's no point. Well, luckily, I didn't really spend any money on this game, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just trade for stuff. But the people that did spend money on, I'm, I'm rooting for you guys to hopefully get some cool stuff for you. Because it's not fair, I feel like. Y'all got scammed or something, and it's just you bought all these cool things. I mean, yeah, they were good at one time, but, you know, the game gets old, and, you know, they kind of suck now. They're outdated a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just ruining that. Hopefully, a dev, you know, ends up watching one of those videos, one of my rant videos, and they're like, oh, yeah, LT's right. We should probably fix that. And that way, you guys will be chilling. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to put this on last and just try to slow the enemies down as they spawn in because that might help us out a bunch right there. And then I'll try to take these guys on, you know, one at a time over here in the front. But, you know, I, I don't know if having 10 or 15 corrupts is going to be enough. Like, it's truly... Tough to say here, guys. Truly tough to say. This is not looking good. And then we got that 9 million HP unit coming in after us here. This is why I say, guys. This is exactly, exactly why I say that AoE is king and nothing is better than AoE. I mean, just it's just obvious. You guys kind of notice here? Let's put on this rabbit ability, though. We really need that for that extra cooldown. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. But, you know, we need that. Oh, looks like the rabbit ability actually might affect the corrupts, though. Okay, well, that's good, then. Maybe I go for some more of these, uh, you know, mech bunny guys. Because I think they individually, yeah, they individually have their own uh, cooldown here. So this guy's got 24. That other guy's got, you know, whatever. So that's going to be good if I get some more mechs down. Maybe, maybe if I go for more mechs here, that might actually be the better play. Because the mechs are going to, you know, actually help us out. They, uh, they will be boosted and stuff. And they do splash damage and whatnot. So, I mean, that is... You know, on the right side, a good thing, right? But yeah, we would have lost this challenge, guys. There's no uh, denying that. There's, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I got lucky here having these mechs. If I just kept those uh, corrupts down, we were we were losing. I really need to make more money now, though. Like, since I sold my Santas, I don't really have a big money-making source. So that's not good at all. But I'm going to try my best here still for you, all right? I got you guys. I got you. I'm going to try my best out here, but it's really not looking good. Rabbit ability again. Let's get it. Hopefully, we can take out those boss 4.0s. When we do pop that rabbit ability, though, it is very effective for us. It's still not enough, though. It's truly still not enough. I mean, these guys, 
are just getting way too far here and we're just not doing any aoe damage whatsoever even with the chef uh yeah the chefs they're just not doing anything we're on wave 60 guys and we're about to lose on wave 60 i feel i feel ashamed of my army on this one guys i feel ashamed of my army this is quite pathetic <laughs> honestly this is quite pathetic i think we really blew it at this point i should pick two people in the comments in the next video holy moly how do we lose on wave 61 there's no point of even trying to place more enemies down i don't have enough money i sold my santas already i shouldn't have done that i guess but wow man that was ugly that was really really ugly guys holy smokes i guess the best play there would have just been to go all out mech bunnies because they're the only guys that do aoe splash and all that other great stuff so but yeah let's go back to the lobby i'll meet you in there and you know we'll get back in there real quick well guys we loaded back into the lobby here and i won't lie that was a fail unfortunately that team you know we just couldn't get it done in all honesty there we just could not get that done i don't know why or for what reason but man using event units only kind of like just one from each event i mean yeah if you piece together a full team from like one event or another because like some events were way better than others but man doing it the way i just did it there one from each event type thing that is a tough challenge you should definitely go out there try it yourself and or let me know what units you were brought in and maybe you come up with a better team and better strategy than what i did and maybe i'll have to retry it someday in the future and then maybe that time i'll be able to beat it with your strategy who the heck knows but surely whatever i did there it was a no-go guys do not do what i did because you will die and you will lose just like i did so really sad outcome on that one guys but hey there's always next video and next challenge i don't know what we're gonna do let me know some challenge ideas that you guys want to see from me and i will surely try them out in a video in the near future and that'll be really fun so i'm looking forward to doing those videos with you guys but with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe share it with a friend all that great stuff helps the channel grow we're on the road to 550,000 subs so we could do the big giveaway on my website if you guys haven't seen that already i got a website it's called ltcrazy.com there'll be a link in the description of course as always and same thing with any of the other links i you know might need from you you know i got the groups in here i'm all my groups i got my you know studio group my you know personal youtube group a studio groups this one all that stuff link in the description merch store all that great stuff guys but don't forget my uh, website ltcrazy.com i got a giveaway on here for all you awesome people watching and you made it this far big w in the chat for you guys because you guys watch my videos to the end which is epic but yeah when we get to 550k guys we're gonna be giving away this epic unit right here so make sure you enter your you know email there enter your roblox name all that great stuff and you'll be good to go also don't forget on my other like page here it's what's our defense values i got the values of every unit on here so check that out if you're a big trader happy trading and uh yeah have a great day guys if you want to watch my next video or actually i should say my last video there should be one on your screen right now Click it, and I'll see you guys over there. Adios.